Hello, this is a quick demo of PDF to Spreadsheet Pro to show you how to convert PDF documents into Microsoft Excel editable spreadsheets. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just open up a simple spreadsheet. Uh, I've got this uh, PDF that I downloaded from the internet that has uh, median and average sale prices of new homes sold in the United States. It's a 12-page PDF and uh, as you can see it's, uh, it's meant to be a spreadsheet, so it's tabular data. If I want to edit the data though, uh, PDF isn't too useful, so that's where PDF to Spreadsheet Pro comes in. Now I've loaded it up here, and you can see the, all these red lines over top. These are not part of the PDF. This is something that PDF to Spreadsheet Pro is showing me to, to show me what it thinks are the column and row dividers. So it gives me an idea of what it's going to look like when I convert it. Now if I want to convert it to an editable spreadsheet, I'm just going to click on Convert to Spreadsheet. It gives me this little dialog box where I can choose either the whole spreadsheet or I could just go for the first page. I'm just going to do the first page for now for demonstration purposes. Uh, you see another box here uh, called Use OCR. Uh, this is what we would do if we were dealing with a scan document or an image that had a spreadsheet in it. Uh, quite often if you've uh, got old spreadsheets that you've scanned into the computer and you want to work with them, uh, you need to run OCR on them. It takes a little longer and the accuracy might not be as good as if uh, uh, it's a sp if, if it's a PDF that's been produced from a, a Microsoft Excel or, or Word, but uh, it's very handy if you need to use it. In this case, the PDF uh, was generated on a computer, so it's not scanned. The text is all embedded in it. So I'm going to leave this unchecked, and I'm going to hit Start. And there, just in the blink of an eye, the conversion is complete. And so you can see it is now in... A more editable format. I can click on one of these rows and I can I can edit it. But the key is you can't really do too much in this view. What I can do though is I can select it all. I'm going to go uh, select in there and I'm going to do Apple A to select the entire spreadsheet. Now I'm going to do a copy and now I'm going to switch to Microsoft Excel and open a new spreadsheet and now I'm going to paste. Oops. In the edit menu, I'll paste my spreadsheet, and there I have my spreadsheet now in Microsoft Excel. I can do whatever I like with it. Now, another option that I could have done, rather than copy and paste it into Microsoft Excel, let's go back to PDF to Spreadsheet Pro, I could have actually just saved my results. So I'm going to go to File, Save, and this gives me an option to save my spreadsheet wherever I want on my computer. It's going to save it as a CSV file, which is compatible with uh, any spreadsheet program. It stands for comma separated values. So let's do uh, converted spreadsheet. So that's CSV. And that should be complete. So if I go back to where I saved it, it's on my desktop, I believe I saved it. There it is, converted spreadsheet.csv. Double click this and it opens up in Microsoft Excel because I have Excel set to open a CSV file. Now if it doesn't open directly in Excel I could simply open it up by going to File, Open, then on the desktop I may have to uh, uh, change to something else, All Documents, CSV, and it says this is already open. Reopening will cause any changes made to be discarded. I've already opened it. So open it and there's my spreadsheet. So very easy to use. Now I'm going to show one example on a spreadsheet that was scanned in so it's not so easy to get at the data and uh, it uses a couple of uh, a couple of more advanced features of PDF to Spreadsheet Pro. So I'm going to go to open a new spreadsheet and I've got a spreadsheet, let's see it's in my downloads folder. Here's one. Now you can see it's working right now to try to find the uh, rows and columns. Now one thing here, this spreadsheet was scanned in and quite often when you scan a spreadsheet in it's off-centered a little bit. It, uh, so it has a little bit of trouble finding the rows. You can see here it found some of the rows and some of the columns but this whole bottom half it didn't get the rows and columns for. Uh, what we need to do is actually straighten the page because when it was scanned in it was a little crooked and uh, we've got a straighten page button here what this is going to do, it's going to rotate the page slightly. It's not 100% accurate, so usually it'll do a pretty good job. 
So you can see the progress as it's working, calculating the, uh, the new rows and new columns. It'll just take a moment here. When it's complete, there we go. It shows me the new columns and rows, and it's uh, pretty much bang on with uh, my columns and rows. So I'm going to convert this to a spreadsheet. Now this time, because it's a scanned image, there's actually no text in this, it's just an image. I need to click Use OCR so that it'll use the optical character recognition uh, feature. And I'm once again just going to do one page, one to one, and I'll start it off. Now we're going to see here that uh, when running OCR, it's a little bit slow. The uh, original uh, conversion that we did was pretty much the blink of an eye. I pre pressed the button and uh, it produced my spreadsheet. Now we'll just wait a tick or two as it processes the page. There we go, and it's all done. And I can resize the columns to make sure it went through OK. And this is my spreadsheet. And just the same as before, I can save. And I'll save it as uh, scanned converted. Notice I'm going to leave off the .csv ending. And uh, I'm going to save this to my desktop. Where's my desktop? There it is. Scan converted. And I'll save it. Now I can go to my desktop and I've got scan converted here. I'll open it and here it is in Microsoft Excel. I can edit it and work with the data. All that was scanned in. There's uh, a few other features uh, that you can play with and uh, if you read the manual uh, or uh, click on the help options within the program you'll be able to figure them out as you go along but this is the gist of it. It's just a simple program to take your PDF documents and convert them into Microsoft Excel. Thank you for watching this demonstration.